Hi, I'm Chap Clark. This is the Morning Moment. Welcome to my kitchen. And uh, this last weekend, we had kind of the weekend of the child. We did three baptisms in the 9 o'clock service yesterday, and we focused on this. The call of all of us as God's people is to help every child, every young adult, to belong, to be valued, and to be empowered. And it was a great time, especially for those families of those three young children that were baptized, but for all of us to realize how precious children are in God's eyes. Well, in Matthew 18, which I read yesterday for the sermon, um, here's what Jesus said, verses 1 to 5, see it on the screen. At that time, the disciples came to Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? What a question. He called a little child to him and placed the child among them and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever welcomes one such child in my name welcomes me. This is the word of the Lord. Uh, I want to focus on one little line there that I don't know if you got it as it kind of whipped by. As Jesus says in 18.3 of Matthew, Unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You know, <clears throat> before the Lord this morning, I just wanted to invite you to take a moment and hear what God has to say to us through his word. Uh, most of the time, daily devotions, and especially the ones we do through the morning moment, uh, are more what God does for us and the gift and blessing of his taking care of us, him watching over us, his great love for us. And sometimes what God does is he will call us to pay more attention, to hear more carefully what he has for us to say. And so um, devotions are more than just one warm feelings of God's love, they offer us time to hear and to heed what he has for us. Calling you and me to think deeper and possibly to take more seriously who he's calling us to be as his spirit moves in our lives. And so I just want to invite you to consider maybe first out of this passage, uh, verse 4 of Matthew 18, whoever takes a lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Um, what about you takes a lowly position? Where do you find yourself identifying with this verse 4 of Matthew 18, where you're taking a lowly position? And what does that mean for you to take a lowly position? Like a child. The humility, the deference, the abandonment of faith that allows you to simply be a presence of grace and wonder to everybody you encounter. So what's your lowly position for you as a person of faith? Now the second one is kind of even more about, what, what about you? Your heart, your attitude that Jesus is saying to you right now in this passage. In verse 3, what about you? Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like a little child. As you look the Lord in the eye, as you reflect on his wonder and grace and his great love for you, what do you think he wants you to think about changing? What do you think he wants you to do to take seriously his love for you so that you become the little child that he can use to bring his love and light to others? This is our morning moment for the day to consider God's great love and God's invitation for us to trust him enough to be conduits of his great love to us.